Top of it, top of it, top of it, y'all. It's your boy N-O-R-E-K. Testing one, two, baby. We in the building. Back with another one. On today, man, we bringing y'all different type of vibe, you dig? Different type of vibe. Y'all bear with me. Um, we gonna title this one. What happened to positive black sitcoms, black TV shows that we all are sort of familiar with. If you were an 80s baby, 70s baby, you know, a product of the 90s, um, then you know of some of these sitcoms that I'm about to speak on. And we're going to use fair, we're going to say fair use only on this little clip just to kind of give y'all a little bit of a little recap <clears throat> to bring it into context, right? But when I was coming up, man, we had shows on, on the TV like Family Matters, Good Times, Different uh, different World, um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The Cosbys. You know, these, these were positive, um, like, like they call it the neutral family. You know, it showed positive black male role models in the home taking care of their kids, taking care of their wives, taking care of, you know, handling business, showing us, giving us something to kind of look forward to. Now, what happened to those? Because as of today, the closest thing we probably had to that in the last year or so, I think would be like a show like Blackish, and that's off the air now. Um, so yeah, tap in with me, man. It's your boy, N-O-R-E-K. We back dropping some gems on you again. It's like 4.30 in the morning, man. I'm up. Had to take it fresh. And I figure I'll come in here and chop it up and rap with y'all a little bit. It's, you know, it's been on my mind. I've been wanting to put this together and kind of speak on it. So here we are. N-O-R-E-K, baby. Drop them forks. Y'all already know what time it is. But yeah, without further ado, y'all already know who we got up on the screen. Sanford and Son. Another positive you know, black sitcom that a lot of us was able to relate to. You know, a lot of us grew up in a home with our grandparents, older uncles. Some of us had our, our dad in the house, you know, big brothers, whoever it may be that you looked up to that these type of shows can be relatable to you, you know. So my question is, what happened to those shows? Why aren't we seeing shows like that and then some of the some of the positive um characters or or people from those shows are now being scrutinized if they hadn't passed away you know they bringing up scandals bill cosby perfect example <clears throat> you know um you can go down the line you know will smith you know his we all know his situation now so it kind of tarnishes the positive image that he once portrayed that he once um, displayed to us as an audience you know have a second guessing but again controversy sells so my question again what happened to those why aren't we seeing those type of shows on the air anymore somebody drop something in the comment let me know what y'all thoughts is on it but uh, we're gonna let this run and i'm gonna turn the audio down on that fair use only just to kind of give y'all some of the shows and some of the people that so you can kind of refresh in your memory like oh man I used to watch that yeah I used to watch that but let, let's let it run man Sanford and Son for sure was one of them um, here he is Cosby's Fresh Prince Martin you name it like it, it goes on and on we had so many and as you see they sitting around the table they see things like this is what we what we were used to coming up in my era when you ate, when we when we had supper, when we had breakfast, everybody came to the table. That was kind of like the meeting, the meeting ground. The kitchen was like in the black family, and in, in, in most families actually, not just the black family. In most families, people meet at the kitchen to talk about how their day went. You know, what what you got planned for the, for the day. How, you know, you get come in, you get your lunch before you head out the door. Even if you're rushing, you know that positive role model the mom you know she's in there doing her thing kind of gave us a, a blueprint on how how a family should operate you know what I mean the dad was 
the head of the household. The mom, she was also the backbone. You know, you had your, it was like good cop, bad cop. You know what I mean? And watching the Cosby coming up, man, it was such a, a fulfilling a feeling to the, because again, it was relatable. Even if we didn't have that setting in our own home, we longed for that setting. So it gave kids something to look forward to. Like, okay, I want to, I have a family. I want to, no. Go ahead, finish. Oh my God, yeah, really? I'm gonna mess up your video. Oh my God. Come on. Oh, quality